press, hooks to the head, hooks to the body, we also have the spinning back fist, and we also have something that's called the superman punch, or the ghost punch, or the jumping punch, always a really really fun one to do. Good, and then we also have lots of different kicking techniques. So we have a leg kick. Leg kicks, you're trying to hit the person right here on the leg. If you can hit that muscle hard enough, you can take them out of the round and they're done. They can't fight anymore. They might not even be able to walk for a little bit. And then you also have kicks to the body. So you're aiming for this part of the body right here, a lot of the vital organs. Good, we also have something called the deep or the push kick. So on the push kick, you're trying to keep your opponent away from you. Or it can also be used as an offensive kick. We also have the side kick. Spinning side kick. And we have the spinning hook kick as well. Awesome. Now like I said in Muay Thai, we have something that's called the clinch. And that is kind of like stand-up wrestling where we're going to use our elbows and our knees. So we're going to have our opponent show you, first of all, the level elbow. you want to use to kind of break through your opponent's guard, hopefully break their nose as well, that's always a bonus. We have the overhand elbow, the dropping elbow, and then of course if you put the word flying in front of anything it makes it way more fun. So we also have the flying elbow, and then in clinch we also have lots of our knees. So if we're in the stand-up wrestling position we want to start kneeing our opponent, we have the straight knee round knee, something called a slap knee, and then again if you want to make it more fun you put the word flying in front of it so we have flying knees, and we have something also called the step up knee. Nice. Alright so now this is all something part, uh, part of the clinch so what we're going to do now is we're going to have Bradley and Pico go together. And Pico's going to show you something called a takedown. So in the clinch, you're always trying to bring your opponent down. It doesn't matter what size they are. If you've got a really good clinch technique, you can bring them down, no problem. So Pico's going to demonstrate that here for you right now. There we go. And that's major points in the ring. The person that just completes that takedown can almost win that round right there. The guy that falls down can get seriously injured, so it's a great takedown. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to have our fighters come up and they're going to do a full Muay Thai or modified Muay Thai round for you here. Now, as they're fighting, if you see something that you really, really like, in Thailand, when you're watching the Muay Thai in, this, uh, in a boxing ring, and you see something you really, really like, you shout out, Oi! That basically means, that was awesome in Thai. So if you see something like a flying technique or a spinning technique, shout out Oe, and what that does is that gives these guys a lot more energy to do some more fun stuff for you as well. We're going to give that a try, so on the count of three, we're going to shout out Oe. Here we go, ready? One, two, three! One! Nicely done! Alright, here we go guys, one minute on the clock, let's go! Leg check. Leg kick, leg kick. You can sit down if you like. Nice spinning elbow from Pico. Very good job. Okay. Mother looks pretty spunky, but if you ever want to get kicked by her, she kicks like a truck. It really hurts. Give it up, good girl. Come on, everybody, come on, there you go! 